Okay, Sierra chain controls in effect right now. Gold runs to Nevada state line. That's on I-80. Chain controls Placerville to Myers on 50. And then Tahoe City to Olympic Valley on 89. Although I'll tell you, 89 has a bunch of chain controls all over the place right now. Here's a look at I-80 at Donner Summit. And you can't really see the interstate. And that's why chain controls are still in effect. Uh, Bridget Biorlo is actually up there uh, on I-80. She's in Nyack. And Bridget, I see snow coming down behind you. Yeah, Brendan, that's right. And it is picking up uh, throughout the morning going on and off as pretty heavy when we were out here at 430 this morning, lightened up for a time. And as you can see, moderate snow is back. Look what fell overnight. The National Weather Service is estimating around a foot in this area. We'll know more details as the morning comes out and they were able to measure the precise numbers. But I think a foot is pretty accurate when you consider all this fresh powder and it is Beautiful for all the kids enjoying a snow day today. Uh, they're going to love uh, building a snowman in these conditions. Driving, much different story. We do have a, a plow out here treating the roads, uh, doing a fantastic job. But do note that these conditions, once the press, the fresh powder f uh, falls, it transitions to more icy conditions, which is something you're going to be seeing out on the road. So let's go out to those roads uh, right now. This is some video we collect of Applegate, the checkpoint there. Uh, you were looking at a row of semis, a staging at that area. They are not being let up the mountain because it is just far too slick uh, for those trucks to handle. Uh, four wheel drives are allowed up on the interstate in both directions this morning, but if you don't have that four wheel drive, expect to put chains on your cars. If you don't have those chains, you will be turned around. Looking at the drive up, uh, not too bad uh, this morning. This was around a 4 a.m., but you do notice slick spots, especially around turns when they get more icy. Let's take a look, though, at what it looked like last night. This is when the beautiful powder uh, was coming down. It was really a winter wonderland uh, last night, and this area is used to snow, but not so much this year. It's been a pretty mild winter in comparison to last year, where we saw a lot of back to back snow storms. So the Department of Water Resources, they released their uh, latest snow survey uh, from uh, this current season and they found we're at around 30% of average for this time of year for the Sierra 25% statewide. So skiers, they are rejoicing in this fresh powder, but they would like to see more of it. Take a listen. Awesome. Oh, yep. It was Honestly, great. It was great. We, we looked at the news this morning. We saw the snow and so we're coming up. It was That's spectacular. Right. Kind of scary when you're driving by yourself. Slow down. Stay home. It's about the best I can say. Slow down and stay home if you don't have to be out here. Uh, great advice because you really don't want to be driving uh, through these conditions. One more live look outside. We see that a uh, tow truck, the plow uh, plowing uh, this area, this parking lot here. We see rows of semi trucks uh, idling, uh, waiting out the snowstorm, waiting for those conditions uh, to improve. Uh, this is a look at the interstate ramp uh, going eastbound uh, toward Reno on I-80. You see no traffic uh, going going up on the interstate uh, because it is very slow this morning. Conditions are slick. You don't want to be out here if you don't have to, uh, Bria and Conchetta, but beautiful, beautiful as the fresh powder is coming down. It's nice to see uh, the snow falling in this area. A lot of people living here really have been wanting to see it. Right, yeah, Bridget, some great advice you gave there. And I mean, we've been hearing the beeping throughout your live shot. Let's just give the crews the room they need to work and then we can enjoy the snow once the snowfall is done. Thanks, Bridget.